In this month's news, surgeons take remote to a whole new level with the world's first in robot-assisted injections. Eli Lilly goes full shopping spree, snagging gene therapy tech like it's Black Friday. And a new U.S. access study hints the ODMD distance gap might be less of a mountain and more of a mild incline. All that and more on Sidebite News, where eye care meets headlines with 2020 flair. First up, if you thought remote work had peaked with Zoom consults, think again. Ophthalmologists in China pulled off the world's first remote robotic subretinal injection. Using a 5G-enabled ophthalmic surgical robot, Professor Lin Haoshen's team in Guangzhou guided a robotic microneedle 4,200 kilometers away in Xinjiang, completing a flawless subretinal injection in under seven minutes. No lag, no glitches, no, you're on mute. The milestone hints at a future where cutting-edge retinal care is not only precise, but borderless. Next up, after acquiring Adverim Biotechnologies, Eli Lilly is officially doubling down on eye care. Their latest splash? A $475 million deal with Mirror GTX to snag global rights to AAV AIPL1, a gene therapy aiming to restore vision in kids with LCA4. And it doesn't end there. This partnership also hands Eli Lilly intravitreal capsids, AI-generated promoters, and riboswitch tech, basically a gene therapy starter kit, but tailor-made for the retina. Now onto some news that might ruffle a few feathers. A new Tulane study suggests that the distance barrier between ODs and MDs may not be as towering as we've been told. Despite a slight dip in the number of ophthalmologists in the US, MD practice sites actually ballooned by 60% over the past decade. Meanwhile, optometry expanded too, but the average drive from an OD office to an MD one? Now just 11 miles. Isolated OD-only zip codes have all but vanished, with only 18 remaining. The takeaway? Access is improving because ophthalmologists are spreading out, not disappearing. And from the U.S. to the Middle East, Baskin Palmer is officially going international. After 25 years at the top of eye hospital rankings in the United States, they've packed their excellence and have headed to Abu Dhabi. Their first ever international facility opened this month, a 70,000 square foot project offering everything from orbital oncology to retina to pediatric glaucoma, plus research, imaging suites, ORs, and full academic programs. In short, Abu Dhabi just became the newest stop on the global map of top-tier ophthalmic care. And lastly, a plot twist in pediatric glaucoma care. According to a trial out of Zhongshan Ophthalmic Center, rigid gas permeable contacts may just be the tiny superheroes kids need after primary congenital glaucoma surgery, outperforming spectacles across the board. In just 12 months, RGPCL wearers gained about 0.31 logmar in BCVA, roughly two lines better than the glasses group, and showed stronger contrast sensitivity and stereoacuity. Why the edge? RGPCLs smooth out post-surgical irregularities and cut down higher order aberrations. The sample size was small, but the message was loud and clear. In the showdown of lenses versus glasses, kids with PCG might see a brighter world when they go RGP. I'm Diana Jung, and that's a wrap for this edition of Sidebite News. Stay sharp, stay focused, and stay in the loop with more eye-popping updates on Mice TV. Got a juicy story or a hot take? Drop us a comment below.